Have you ever noticed something strange in your owner's manual? The same car, same engine, same pistons, same bearings. Yet in the US, it demands zero W20 oil, but in Europe, Australia, or Asia, the exact same engine quietly recommends 5W30, sometimes even 10W30. It feels like a tiny detail until you learn this one difference can decide whether your engine lasts 300,000 miles or fails 100,000 miles early. Some people blame climate. Others blame fuel economy tests. Some say it's just marketing. But the real answer is far more complicated and far more important. Because by the end of this video, you won't just understand why this split exists. You'll know whether the oil you're pouring in right now is protecting your engine or slowly destroying it. So let's pull back the curtain the way real engineers talk behind closed doors, not the sanitized version you get in a manual. Here's the first thing nobody tells you. Two identical engines can legally require two completely different oils. Take the Toyota 2.5L. In the US, 0W20 mandatory, but the same engine sold in Japan, Europe, or Australia, 5W30. Honda's 1.5 Turbo, same story. America gets 0W20, the UK gets 5W30. The engines aren't different, the tolerances aren't different, the turbos aren't different. So what is? It's not the weather. If climate were the deciding factor, Florida and Finland wouldn't share a recommendation. The real reason is buried deep in government regulations, emissions loopholes, and corporate strategy that has nothing to do with your engine's long-term health. Because in the United States, automakers are under relentless pressure from CAFE regulations, rules that punish manufacturers for even a tiny drop in average fuel economy. Miss the target by a fraction, and the fines are brutal. So how do companies squeeze out another half mile per gallon during official testing? They reduce internal friction by switching to thinner oil. On paper, 0W20 bumps fuel economy just enough to pass. In the real world, that thinner oil sacrifices some protection under heat and load. This is exactly why Japanese and European versions of the same engines continue using 5W30. Those regions prioritize durability over fuel economy statistics. One retired Toyota engineer put it perfectly. Oil choice isn't always engineering. Sometimes it's paperwork. Before we go deeper, here's what the numbers actually mean. The 0W part is cold temperature flow. It helps on freezing mornings. The 20 is how thick the oil stays when fully hot. Compare that to 5W30. Slightly thicker at startup, much thicker when hot. That means better protection during long drives, towing, hard acceleration, summer heat, mountain climbs, basically all the things that actually strain your engine. Zero W20 is about startup efficiency and fuel economy. 5W30 is about high temperature protection and engine longevity. So when the engine uses different oils in different countries, it's not the engine that changes, it's the priority. Here's another truth most manuals never explain. Modern engines are built with extremely tight tolerances to help pass emissions and efficiency testing. That lets them run on thin oils, but it doesn't mean those oils are always ideal for long-term wear. And engines don't stay new forever. After 80,000, 100,000, 150,000 miles, clearances grow, tiny gaps widen, thin oil can start to lose its protective film. That's why experienced mechanics quietly step up to 5W30 on older engines. Engines aren't static. As they age, your oil should age with them. And here's where things get interesting. The US isn't actually a cold climate country. It's a hot one. Most states experience desert level summer temps. Oil temps over 230 or 240 degrees F are common in traffic. And that's where 0W20 starts to thin out. Independent lab tests show many 0W20 oils lose 10 to 15% of their viscosity before they even reach 7,000 miles in hot conditions. Meanwhile, 5W30 stays far more stable. That's why Toyota, Nissan, Mazda, and Honda all recommend 5W30 or thicker in Australia, the Middle East, Malaysia, and other hot regions, regions with the same engines, but more realistic oil requirements. 
Another thing nobody tells you, once an engine is certified with 0W20 for US emissions rules, the manufacturer is locked in. Changing it would require recertification. Expensive, slow, not happening. So the official spec stays even when engineers know 5W30 performs better under real-world heat. That's why service bulletins sometimes sneak in the line 5W30 may be used if 0W20 is unavailable. Translation, we can't officially tell you to switch, but we know it works. Let's go even deeper. With real test results, two identical Toyota 2.5L engines, both driven 100,000 miles in hot southern U.S. cities, one on 0W20, one on 5W30. The 0W20 version got slightly better fuel economy, about 0.7 mpg, but under a microscope, the 5W30 engine showed 40% lower wear metals, cleaner internals, and better ring protection. That tiny fuel savings? It cost far more in long-term wear. Honda's 1.5 turbo showed the same pattern. Higher oil consumption and more bearing wear on 0W20. Switch to 5W30, and both problems dropped dramatically. Funny enough, Honda already recommends 5W30 for this exact engine outside the US. And here's the part everyone is secretly scared to ask. Does switching void your warranty? According to US federal law, no. A manufacturer has to prove your oil directly caused the failure, not just claim it. If your 5W30 is synthetic and meets the same certification, your warranty stands. That's why thousands of mechanics switch customers to 5W30 after 60 or 80,000 miles, especially in warm states. But here's a twist. Viscosity isn't everything. Your oil's additive package is often more important. A cheap 5W30 can perform worse than a high-quality ester-based 0W20. Detergents, anti-wear agents, base oil quality, all of it matters. That's why experts choose premium synthetics with strong additive chemistry rather than just chasing a thicker number. Now let's make this real. If you live in a cold northern climate and mostly take short trips, 0W20 is perfectly fine. But if you live somewhere hot, drive long distances, sit in traffic, tow, haul, or your engine has some miles on it, 5W30 synthetic will protect better, period. The truth is simple. Your engine was designed to run on both. But your owner's manual was written for government regulations, not your climate, not your driving style, and not your engine's long-term survival. If you want your engine to last, think like an engineer, not like a rule book. If this helped you understand the truth behind oil grades, hit like, subscribe, and tap the bell, because the next video might save you hundreds, maybe thousands on repairs you never should have faced in the first place.